All right, so we're going to go over what has sold over the last week. Uh, a little late on the video. As you can see, it's almost Wednesday morning, but uh, we're going to get the uh, video out here now. So, uh, let's see. Starting with the weekend. Uh, nine total things for two fifty five, ninety seven. dollars uh, There's two things on the other account and then um, seven on the main account. Seven for two thirty eight on the main account, which uh, is definitely on the slow end of things, but that uh, is kind of what it is when it comes to summertime and uh, when you don't got a lot of summer specific inventory. So also have not been hitting the listings hard over the last last week either again. Uh, just see the comments. So, uh, but I did pick up a pallet la was it Wednesday? Wednesday, yes, because we couldn't get it Thursday because of the 4th of July. Um, it really is not great um, in terms of eBay worthy. Uh, the only good thing that was in it that's eBay worthy is the brand new Nintendo Switch. Uh, other than that, there's like two other things maybe that'll put up on eBay, but otherwise it's gonna it's all stuff to pedal locally. Which obviously is not good. It doesn't work for me. Uh but that's kind of part of pallets. Um it was also it was an Amazon so it's kind of just a filler palette for me. I consider Amazon kind of filler. because uh, it is usually uh heavier on the local sale items. Uh but I do think I'll make my money on it. it I won't lose money on it, that's for sure. It's a pretty good palette. Uh, like I said, with the brand new Nintendo Switch that I can get 250 bucks for, you know, is a, is a good start. Um, I'll have to, I'll do a quick video showing you, uh, the palette up here. Anyways, I'll get into the sales. So, this LA City Fire, uh, this is a different style of patch than the normal LA City Fire, but, uh, five ninety nine on that. Uh, next was this Haver Hill, Massachusetts fire at four ninety nine. As you can see, in rough shape, super used, loose threads everywhere. Even though I have plenty of other, um, plenty of other perfectly good Haver Hill ones, they picked this one. Uh, next was another pair of these Adidas uh, Ultra Forty running shoes. I just got the email. I think today it went to the authenticator and passed, and is on my way to on its way to the buyer. Um, so I, as you can see, it says three sold, but it was only two, actually two. Because it had the best offer on there. And uh, like I said, the first person that did it and then never paid, which I figured they weren't going to pay. Um, then the other two sold within like a week of each other. Uh, which is good because... Because, you know, these have been listed for a couple of months and had not really been getting any action. Or had been getting a lot of, you know, watchers and send views, send out offers, but no one... Uh, nobody actually bought it until within, like, the last week here. Both of them finally sold. Next was this uh, Wagner Flexio 2000 um, sprayer. Sold it, I'm pretty sure I sold it out on offer $44.99 plus 15 chip. And hopefully this one won't be coming back to me. I'll get to that at the end here about a, re a return that got opened um, what was it, yesterday? Hold on, I got a shooting coming in. There was already a shooting earlier in the day and another one earlier in the day as well. Another one shot in the leg. There's the two people who were shot earlier were both shot in the leg. All right. All right. Sorry, I can speed this up then. Got a shooting to cover. All right. Okay. Apparently, none of these buyer names are hidden like they're supposed to be. Anyways, next we have this new era golf baseball hat. Fourteen. Fourteen ninety nine on that plus five dollars ship. Uh, next was this Vicks uh, sinus inhaler. Uh, sold that for twenty eight dollars. 
free ship. This actually has been sitting around for a long time. This came from the Walmart pallet. Um, and it's just been just been sitting around. I finally got it round two. Um, getting it listed. Okay, no, that's, that's a different call. Uh, next is this, uh, town of Sutton, Massachusetts Police, 599. Next is this, this three-pack of Dove. Um, 24 dollars on that. And this was the three that um, were not in the packaging. Uh, unlike the other ones. Uh, next was this uh, un pair of Under Armour Lockdown 6 basketball shoes, 10 and a half. Uh, these sold, I want to say these sold on an offer too. 10% uh, off for $54.99. Uh, and this is, it's going international somewhere. Where, I'm not sure, because um, I looked at, I just looked up the address because I was curious because it had like a site number. And uh, it was going to a freight forwarder, so. Uh, so we'll see how that uh, goes down. But it was good to finally sell one of these too, because again, sold out a ton, you know ten watchers sent a ton of offers. Nobody was buying, and someone finally did. Uh, next was a degree. Um, you'll notice the quantity is now way lower. Um, I did a recount, and I think I overestimated. Um, I think I overestimated it when I added them all together, so I just lowered it. Obviously, it's better to have it um, too low than too high. Um, so, you know, I'll adjust it again if needed. Uh, next was this Wagner Paint Sprayer Extension Arm. Uh, 30 bucks free ship on that. Uh, next, Oklahoma City Fire Paramedic, $4.99. Next, this was a banger. Glad to see this sold. Um... This Tennessee Titans Nike um, Heritage 86 Bolt hat. And yes, it did. You are seeing the correct price. That sold for $90. Uh, and I picked that up. Online arbitrage. I mean, they're dicks or fanatics. Uh, for 20 bucks. It was... It was uh, definitely a kind of a risky... Um, buy. Buying it for... You know, like 20 bucks um, to sell it for 90. But there was a couple of comps for other teams, um, you know, this high. So uh, this was a lead from the Bread and Butter, bread and butter Group. Uh, so those of us who did comp it, uh, you know, keeping the prices high at, the, at $90. Um, and I noticed when it sold, that I actually have two of all of these hats, but didn't put a quantity of two. I only put it down as quantity of one. Um, so I went through and relisted this one. And went through and relisted this. And then all the other, the couple other ones that I got, I added a quantity to those as well. I got, what was it? The Saints, Saints, Bucks, and the Patriots. So those will be all... Those will be nice when they come. The, uh, the sale for those could come in. Hopefully, uh, once we get you know into the fall for football season. Uh, next is this nationally certified fire service institute, Iowa State University patch, six ninety nine, and that is it for the sales on the main account. We'll just go to the two things that sold on the second account real quick, and then we'll get into that return. Uh, so one of these St. Pauls at three ninety nine, and then this Arizona Department of Public Safety subdued. At nine ninety nine, so I want to get into the return real quick. This is another uh, case of a ridiculous return. Um, as you can see, ordered by mistake. Kid must had ordered on cart. Now, mind you, this was um, the date purchased was June nineteenth. It arrived, I think, on the twenty fourth, and two weeks later they opened a return. Yeah, that's definitely not. Uh, Definitely a case of ordered by mistake. 
Um, at least they put it down as orders by mistake and not, you know, doesn't work. Um, so I'm not going to get stuck paying the return shipping, assuming they actually ship it. Um, that's going to be on them. Um, and I will not return the original shipping. Because, and I'll probably do a deduction because I can almost guarantee you that they used it and it's going to come back used. More used than how I sent it. I can almost guarantee it. So we'll have to, we'll have to see if this comes in, what condition it comes in. Because I can guarantee you it's going to be a case of they used it and are now returning it. Um, I'm thinking in future, I'm turning returns off on these paint sprayers. Because this is now, this will now be the third time. Someone has bought it, used it, and returned it. And I am not um, Home Depot. You cannot just rent things from me. That's not how this works. I'm going to ret turn returns off and see if that will kind of deter um, any scammers. So we'll just have to see when this comes in. Um, other than that, I'll show you the Amazon palette real quick. And then um, that will be it. Uh, we'll see about Saturday picking up another pellet from the new place, because they posted they got some stuff in. Uh, one thing I think that would be cool to go through is, um, on deliverable and return to mail, they have some of those pellets, which I think would be cool to go through this. So, uh, we'll see. I have to deal with the Amazon pellet. I need to put it somewhere. I have nowhere, no room to buy a pellet and put it anywhere. So... We'll have to get that situated. So, other than that, we'll see you guys next week. Alright, so... Showing some of this, uh... Amazon pellet. So, it's kind of... Something was shoved over here. Uh, this was some... Paper cutter of some kind. One of these, I know, was a... Yeah, this was a clock. This is a little, um pop-up uh, pod, little portable room, kind of for, like, camping. Uh, that's a hose. That's a hose, uh, reel. Oh, yeah, this was a giant, um, 24-inch, you guys can't see, um, exhaust fan. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with that, but, uh, that was, was an Amazon Basics fan. Uh, well, I can get back out. So that was a paper cutter. This was a, uh, I shouldn't, it's a little like a camping chair. Oh, it, it's one of the cool ones. It's got the rockers in it. You know, little, little, like, uh, little things where you can rock. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Swiffer Power Mop. These, uh, absorbency pads. Uh, whatever this is. I don't think I've figuring out what that even is. Oh, laundry hamper. There's another one downstairs as well. Ah, uh, the squeezing earth uh, coffee pot. Ah, uh, there's this. I don't even know what this is. Ah, uh, it's just like a giant metal thing. I don't even know what it is. It might end up being scrap if I can't figure out what the hell it is. So, like I said, there's that. And there's this uh, Costco folding hand truck. There's actually another hand truck that I was playing with earlier. Um, that's a, a nice little portable one. And it's got the three wheels on it. You know, for helping you go upstairs. So we're actually going to keep that. We'll sell this one. Um, this is a little shoe rack. Uh, this is a cool 24-inch peacock decoration. Pretty cool. This is a Hoover uh, carpet cleaner. And on the bottom here is a countertop uh, dishwasher. So, that's pretty good. I don't know. I was looking up on eBay. Probably can get. I'm not going to sell it on eBay. It doesn't. Or probably won't because it doesn't sell very well. Um, and then I could probably get 200 bucks for that. Uh, I'd hope. I don't know. Maybe 100 bucks for this. This actually is like 60 or 70 on Amazon. Probably going. I would only get like 20 bucks for it. Then I think it was, I'm gonna I'm put that on eBay. Um, like I said, that might just be scrap if I can't figure out what the hell it is. Um, here's two of the other things. 
I mean, here's why I bought the freaking thing. Brand new Nintendo Switch. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what side where it opens. That uh, was this side, was it not? There we go. Brand new Switch. So, that's why I bought the pellet. Uh, I didn't even look it up. I, just, I didn't know what a Switch went for. I just knew, ooh, brand new Switch. I would like this pellet. Like I said, I can get 250 bucks for that. Uh, there's these uh, arrows. These will probably take a while to sell, but uh, might have better luck locally. But we'll try eBay first. They don't take up a ton of space, so it's not a big deal. Um, anyways, I paid 735 bucks for the pallet. With that was with tax. Um, like I said, that's 250 bucks, granted, minus shipping and fees, so maybe like 200. You know, that's another say 200. That's 400. Um. If I got a hundred, that's, you know, that's five. Um, I don't know what I get for this. Another 50, 50 bucks maybe. So like five fifty. Um, this exhaust fan, who the hell knows? Um, but like the hose and the hose reel, you know, shouldn't be too hard to sell. Um, I mean, this paper cutter. I have to look up. This actually does include a, a street light, a solar LED street light, and then there's like another giant box. It's like a barbecue looking thing. I'm not entirely sure what it even is, but uh, there's also that. This one surprisingly didn't come with any furniture, which was surprising. Oh, this paper shredder right here. Uh, like I said, it didn't come with any furniture. That. And these that are right here, these came from a different Amazon um, palette from a while ago. But uh, like I said, there's the. Uh, it also came with these wheels that you can put under the front part, which doesn't really make sense when you think about it because it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, I guess if you weren't using it as an actual hand truck and you just wanted it, you know, you weren't using it. The hand truck itself to pick up boxes. You're just like putting boxes on top of it. You'd want the wheels, I guess. But anyways, this is just your standard folding hand truck. So, you guys can't even see. It's green. But anyways, like I said, I definitely don't think I'll lose money. But I don't think it's going to be the greatest palette. But uh, we'll have to see. Like I said, I gotta get this listed. I'll probably get that get to that tomorrow. Finally, actually get this listed and get a couple things listed that are gonna be eBay worthy, so I can deal with this palette, so I can buy another palette here at some point. So, uh, anyways, we'll see you guys next week.